course, I am Danielle Rocco, and I am here with my new great friend, Scott. Hey, everybody. And so we wanted to talk about when strangers become friends, because that's what life's about, right? You don't like, you're just not born and have all your friends throughout the world, right? And they change and they form. So I met Scott at one of Jackie's events. We're at networking. I, know, I don't even remember the name of that event, but we, we spoke afterwards. We spoke at the end. Just yep, there you go. Um, and we spoke afterwards, and we had a good connection that night. Yep. And we knew we wanted to talk again and yes. share a little bit more, which we're going to get into a little bit today, but we wanted to share a little bit more about what we do. Yes. So that's why we're here today learning about each other, and I love what I'm learning about you now. Yes, and I want to tell you my mindset about why I went up to him, because I think this is where a lot of people struggle. They go up to someone and think, like, what am I going to get out of you? What are you going to give me? And, and that's the wrong mindset, and you get nothing. You get nothing. It's dead in the water. So Scott spoke a little bit about what he does at this event we were in, and I was like, I like his mojo. I like it. I, I, it was it was good. You'll hear it. You'll hear what he does. You'll hear what he says. And it's really good. So I said, I just want to go and introduce myself and say exactly that. And that's where the connection it came from. And now. The, um, after today, he's going to be speaking at my arrival, which I knew that night. I was like, I'm going to keep this guy. I'm going to stalk him a little bit, see if I like what, <laughs> see if he is what well, he says he is. But, and I, I appreciated your approach too, by the way. And you know, I mean, yeah, we're at events and we get to meet a lot of good people, but I like when somebody comes up and approaches and introduces themselves and just says, you know, hey, I'd like to get to know more about you, you know, or what brought you here tonight and without an agenda. And that's what you, that's, that was your mindset that night. It was. I loved it. It was. And that is key. You want to make friends? Don't have an agenda when you move into it. Better yet, too. Ha yeah. You know what the agenda is? Is how can I help you? Yeah. Have that mindset of when I meet somebody, maybe there's something I can do for that person. And it's not going to be for everybody, but some, right? That is it. Giving. You give. You, yes. you, you meet by giving. Comfortable place of giving. For sure. Instead of, instead of taking, which is where we roll. So, I'm a healthy lifestyle specialist. This is what I do. And Scott, tell them a little bit about what you do. Tell. tell sure. Them. So, so I'm a career coach, and I help people take ownership of their career and create fulfillment in the work that they do. And one of the things that drives me and that I really believe in is that mm -hmm. I believe we all deserve to have fulfillment in the work that we do. It's not, um, we're not lucky when we love our job. Um, it's not something that we should hope to have. It's something that we deserve to have, but here's the key. We have to own it. We have to be accountable and we have to own it and say, I'm gonna create the fulfillment that I deserve and that I wanna have in my career and my life. So no more of this sitting around and waiting or hoping to find my passion, hoping to find um, that perfect job or that job that I love. We discover, we do the work on ourselves like we yes. do. More on that in a second too. And we do the work on ourselves and we get clarity on who we are and then we put it out in clarity on our mission and then we put it out into the world and we create our dream career and create that fulfillment. And that's why I was really drawn to you too. And I've been following you and your work ever since we met that night because Danielle is an example of somebody who, you know, you've been doing a lot of great things in your life, but then you said, I want to up my game. I know I can bring this to others and you're creating it, you're making it up. You're not waiting for it to come to us. Right. No, no excuses. No excuses. And he did the same thing. So that's probably why we connected, yeah. right? He went from a corporate job into doing what you're doing now, giving to others. I mean, the, you know, I just got a free session here. My career is going to be on fire now. Well, um, and we will do a lot more work. And, and I'm benefiting too, for sure. Like, I love getting outside perspective on life from people like yourself and uh, you know we need to speaking of coaches like it's so helpful to get perspective from somebody who um, is objective number one mm -hmm. who has really good perspective and doesn't have like that emotional connection or attachment but can tell like I love truth I love truth and we both have been sharing you know we're at a lunch place mm -hmm. in Andover Mass and we both been sharing a lot of truth with each other yeah. yeah and that's what that is how the growth and the change happens because he'll call me out and I just met him and that's what I love like if I'm saying something and he's like mm, yeah no have you thought of this and do you know this 
and I'm like, ah. And I have, I have a few blocks myself, and she called me out. <laughs> Sure. We have we have to talk about those more someday too. Yeah, yeah, lots of it. Um, but what I wanted to share, basically, what I want to come on and talk about is being that like when strangers become friends and being open to that, giving from a place of your truth, giving to a place from your service, and then being willing to like see where it goes with no agenda but when you were talking about like creating your job creating the life that you want you can't expect an outcome you have to be able to be like not be able to you you know what the outcome you want is but if that outcome changes that doesn't mean that you failed it doesn't mean it's the outcome that it should be like releasing that part uh, of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, when, when I help people in their in their career and in, in their and get clarity on their purpose, one of the things that I share and one of the lessons I've learned is so we get clarity on, on who we are as a person and the value that we bring to others, what we're good at. And the beautiful thing in, in life is there's so many things we can do under that guy. You know, it doesn't have to be one set specific thing. You know, we set ourselves up for disappointment because we get this vision. We envision this path that we're going to have. I'm going to do this. And when it goes off the rails just even a little bit, we get disappointed instead of embracing that, welcoming that change. And I've already learned, you know, I've been doing what I do for just over a year now. And I've already learned so many different ways, angles, things that I can help people with. Mm -hmm. it, it didn't always stick or stay right, true, according to form or what I originally envisioned. So that's helping, you gotta be open-minded and you have to be flexible and embrace the change. Yes, yes. I gotta say this one thing. So I've changed, like my, we were talking about my ideal client, right? And where my mojo is, and there's like two different aspects of it. Um, and I had to be open to that. And I had to be open, like he let me open up my eyes to different ways of thinking of possibilities that might, situations that might come up, to be aware of it. But if I was closed-minded, if I was closed-minded um, of that, I probably am not going to be successful because I'm being pushed in a certain way. I'm being pushed into a certain direction. And I needed that feedback. I needed to hear his feedback on that so I can put that into this process. It's a total different um, vision than I had a month ago. Yeah, I mean, there's really not much more I can add to that. Just we, we close ourselves off when we have certain expectations only. And it's more like, I look at this as a journey, uh, a lifelong one, not a year journey, not a five-year journey, not a ten-year. It's, it's a lifelong journey. And um, I'm always going to be growing. I'll probably be doing different things. I'll still be a career coach. That's yes. what I'm doing. I'm not leaving that anytime soon. Well, it's good. You know, I need you. But, <laughs> and I'm here to help. Um, but I will be helping people in different ways, too, I'm sure, six months, a year down the road. Yeah. So, and, and myself, too, because, you know, by meeting people like you and getting input. Um, I have coaches, uh, but I welcome colleagues like you into my space. Yeah. So they can get more input and say, what can I do different? What can I do better? Mm -hmm. Because we have different techniques, we're, 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 our, our styles are different, our personalities are different, and our expertise is different. So, it's fun. It's a fun thing. It's a fun thing. I love it. It's what makes it exciting. So, and you know what, even if you work, um, you're working for a big organization, you're in a corporate job, it's like these things that we're talking about are not just applicable to entrepreneurs and coaches. You can bring this and bring these mindsets to yeah. your career right now, no waiting, starting yesterday. Just embrace change, be open to it, who can you connect with, and always have that mindset of how can you help and serve others. Yes, and it's not an excuse. If you're going to make an excuse for yourself, turn it inwardly and change it, because that's what you have control over. Yeah. Not the other piece of it, it's your value. I agree. Part of it. So, I want to, and before we get off, so I don't want to give too much, you're going to see more of him. He will be at the August event. Uh, the mini event for my arrival. You will meet him at all of those. You will also meet him at the my arrival. We can have a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Are you where you want to be in your career? What is it that you're lacking? I can't speak on what he does as elegantly as him, but I just know he can bring you to that next level, that ne next mindset of where you're going, and and that refocus. And you'll see some more little tidbits where he's going to give some real value to walk away with when um, saying like, ah. Oh, Yes, I can apply this. Let's move forward.
whether it's here, and thank you for that, by the way. Thanks for getting me introduced to your community. Uh, I've been following you for a while. I know you have a great community, a big community, and I look forward to meeting a lot of you. And whether it's here or when we meet in person, I'll throw this out there. Think about um, how would you answer the question, what is my purpose? And I do a lot of workshops, talks, and I talk to people individually, and I always ask, you know, so can you tell me what your purpose is? And some people have an idea, many don't, so if you don't have an idea of what it is, don't worry, because that's very common, that's normal. But ask yourself now, and then we'll talk more about it, being in person at one of your events, you can ask me questions here online, now or later, is, you know, think about what is my purpose? What are some of the tips or suggestions? Is what am I good at? Think about these. What am I good at? What do I enjoy? What do I not enjoy doing? And how do I bring value to others? Start swimming those questions around in your mind, and we'll talk about it more in the near future. Awesome. All right, you're gonna see this guy more in my in my stuff, and I can't wait for you to meet him. Bye. Bye. See you soon.